Have you ever heard of a reverse diet or wondered why you have to eat so many calories leading into a diet? Three reasons. Number one, it's a true assessment for me as a coach. There's a big equation, a few big equations that can predict your maintenance level calories, which basically predicts the health of your metabolism. When we run through that equation, it gives us your maintenance level calories. And the reason we do this is we want to see and assess how healthy is your metabolism really. We can get some general information, but this putting this to the test really allows us to rate and evaluate the, the health of your metabolism. So we give you your maintenance level calories, say eat here for seven to 14 days, and we're gonna look at how your body weight responds. Did it gain weight? Did it maintain weight? Did we feel better? Did we have better energy levels? All of those things factor into this, and then it allows me as your coach to appropriately set a calorie deficit. If I set somebody's maintenance level calories at what this equation predicts, but we have a really slowed metabolism, we're gonna bring you into that 500 calorie deficit and have a really hard time seeing any results. The contrary is also true. There are people who have a faster metabolism than in what is predicted, meaning if we don't give you enough food, you're gonna be starving, you're gonna feel achy, you're gonna feel super fatigued. So it's a true assessment for me, that's reason number one. Reason number two is we're preparing your body to diet. If you've heard me say before, we're basically fattening you for slaughter. I know that's really grim and gross, but we want to fill your body's nutrient stores as full as possible to get them ready for this diet. So in essence, think of it like you have a glass of water. It's totally empty. You go over to the sink. You're not going to take a drink from an empty glass. You're going to fill that glass up and then take from that glass. That's all we're doing with your muscles, with your cells, we're getting it as filled as possible so that the things that we want it to give away, to burn off, to get rid of, those are kind of readily available. We fill ourselves with lots of good food for seven to 14 days. Then we pull back and those not so good things that we want to get rid of, they're kind of at the top, ready to be pushed away and to be removed. So we're preparing that body, preparing, filling your stores. Also because a diet is really grueling on a body. A fat loss diet is very grueling. So we want you to feel refreshed. We want you to feel good going in. That's going to give you more willpower, more motivation, and it's gonna help keep the energy levels high in these early stages and to prolong that, that fatigued feeling. The last reason is I want you to eat as much as you possibly can while losing as much as you possibly can. If we just make an estimate or a guess at where your deficit calories are, just throw a blanket number out there, that means that we might not give you enough food. Making your diet more restrictive, making it harder to adhere to with your lifestyle and for long term. So we want to give you as many calories as possible, as many as your body can tolerate in order to lose weight. So those are three reasons why we jump up to maintenance level calories through a reverse diet leading into a fat loss phase. Try them out. It worked really well for a lot of our clients in the past. Let's bring you into that fat loss phase.